Hello friends. Warm welcome to my Cam Doctor vlog. So this episode is dedicated to my African friends from Middle East. They need some basic classes on electronics. So I will try my level best as much as possible to me because the medium also in english language so maybe it's not convenient to somebody because i'm not so much experience anyhow please ignore the mistakes so let us start with electronics electronics is as the name indicates is related with the electrons every substance every materials having atom so friends this uh, uh, picture is uh, just i draw it uh, it's the atom uh, atomic structure of silicon and uh, like this here in silicon there is 14 electrons uh, surrounding you can see rotating surroundingly in this silicon atom so it's called 14 uh, this is silicon silicon's center this is the nucleus in the nucleus uh, you can see the proton and neutron these electrons are electrically um, negative charge and uh, some electrons uh, from here removing and putting some other uh, ions like some what i say the theoretic aspect is totally i forgot anyway made of atom the atom consists uh, of nucleus surroundingly uh, these electrons rotating with this like a, a solar system the center the sun and uh, rotating uh, as planets around this so these electrons are working in some mediums like a uh, vacuum or some gases then these uh, components are made the scientists uh, uh, experimented many aspects many methods first of all they started with the thermionic valve system there was a single simple bulb or tube inside there is uh, electrodes like uh, cathode anode and a grid something like that and uh, with the help of this thermionic uh, valve they uh, introduced the radios super heterodyne radios and uh, uh, this amplifier sound amplifier system and some machines like that earlier in the 1960s or 70s the whole radios are made of this kind of thermionic valve then gradually understand that the semiconductors like silicon and uh, germanium some materials like that uh, with the changing some uh, atomic uh, structure it can work as a transistor or uh, uh, similar uh, similar components after uh, introducing these uh, transistors uh, there was an explosion in this uh, line electronics was uh, suddenly growing and many kind of uh, uh, instruments very compact and very uh, working with the low voltage low power items are made handy and uh, 
So gradually the electronics was uh, growing to its uh, what I say distinct level and uh, these electronics uh, take part in all other science branches. Other old science is uh, uh, developed with the help of electronics. So you can see nowadays this electronics is uh, touching its hands in every uh, medical field or in a bank and uh, even in the small shops and with the uh, as you know the mobile phones and the sophisticated mobile phones like uh, uh, 5G and uh, all these systems like com computer everything is uh, made of these electronics everywhere in the shipping and avionics and uh, uh, what is airline everything is controlled with electronics without if uh, there is no electronics uh, uh, ground like this there may be the whole the other science will become standstill because uh, all the science is grown up with the help of electronics so electronics learning is uh, uh, very very interesting thing like uh, history we can learn this and uh, First of all, we have to learn about the components. When we say about components, the primary, the uh, main part, that is resistors. Resistors means a, a resisting thing. That means reducing the power, electricity and voltage, which is used in the circuit serially or parallel. There is a, a lot many changes can uh, so with the help of these resistors every gate gets you will see the resistance many various kinds of resistance used resistance is uh, in various uh, models wire bound resistor and carbon resistor thick film resistor thin film resistor surface mounting resistor like this uh, many kinds of resistors are there it's used uh, depending upon the models and uh, where the power supply is uh, going to reduce for this purpose using these resistors. So the resistor as uh, you can see these are the uh, some models I will show you have a look on this stud type uh, what I say the made of carbon this is quarter watt resistor as, as the thickness is increase the watt. so we have to use wherever need this kind of uh, very small wattage very big electricity consumption line we have to use thick one this is the photo electric resistor or uh, light dependent resistor this this one is used for automatic uh, bell and automatic uh, when the person enter inside a room and you pass you cut the line front side of this resistor there is you can see the surface when the light cuts this will uh, 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 the circuit, circuit will short and uh, the line will uh, activate this way this is the automatic uh, usage uh, resistor light depending resistor or photoelectric resistor uh, either name is used for this this is a smallest one so as per our purpose we can use big one or small one and uh, it's called varistor where inside the circuitry when the power access comes this will become heat and cut off the circuit will be safe this way many purpose many kind of resistors are used you can see on this circuit very very small negligible resistors which is surface mounting this kind of resistance are used widely on mobile phones computers like that uh, like, uh, equipments in this circuit there is a little big one that is a heavy wattage resistor is used in uh, electricity Mm, that's why this resistor is little voltage increased model 
so okay this way there are many kinds of resistors all the resistors i am not showing here uh, you can see the wire wound resistor that is uh, uh, used in the uh, high voltage lines wire wound is uh, um, dissipating heat when it works so okay friends uh, the next item is capacitors uh, so the next episode will be on capacitors okay thank you very much for watching